Hello everyone, Bloodpad here for a new pauper video and yes, we are doing it. What you may ask? We are throwing 300 points out of the window because we are playing in the pauper MCQ on Magic Online with what you'll see in a moment, the one land spy combo. Obviously it may seem like a kind of a troll pick for the tournament but I believe there is not a ton of counter spells in the format right now, so maybe we can maybe we can steal some wins. And yeah, looks good. We chose to be on the draw, which we tend to want with this deck because uh, you just want to make sure you draw some cards naturally. You don't really benefit off of being ahead on land drops with this deck. And yeah, let's keep. We have the forest, which is the most important piece. And we're up against Tron, so these decks are kind of slow. And uh, lately they have been cutting out on uh, counter magic. So I have high hopes, at least for game one. Definitely land grant before street raid, just so we don't accidentally hit the forest off of the cycle. Okay, might as well cycle now to get more information. We're basically just missing the... Uh, we're basically just missing the spy. So uh, let's just play Astrolabe here. Song's not terrible. Uh, I don't see any reason to play more cards now, so we basically have uh, two cards that cycle, some... this card is kind of dead. Some mana sources and uh, the songs. So uh, how do we want to do this? I'd say let's just uh, cycle alternatively. I mean, they could have like weather the storm or ways to gain life, so maybe we could like play Wild Canter and start smashing just so we like incidentally hit them for some damage. But uh, no, I think it's probably better to just start cycling. And don't really want to discard, so let's play the, play the pedal and pass. So far we're not pressured by anything. I mean, of course, they could have like prohibit or whatnot, in which case uh, we're dead if they can use it properly. But seems like they're tapping out, so they don't have anything really. Okay, then in that case, just bobble. That's the last redraw effect we have. Crack it right now. Uh, not selecting any targets. Come on, spy. No spies. Okay, I'm thinking let's uh, play the canter off of pedal. Is that worth it though if they like kill it? Because then we have only one, two, three, four. We still have enough mana. So let's play the canter right away. We could also, like, if we have a lot of excess mana, we could eventually mark theft the Minotaur for the cycle. Drifter, it's fine. I mean, eventually they'll find an answer or something, so it's not that great for us, but uh, we just need one card, right? So, Let's play Tinderwall, and I don't think I'm supposed to go for the Morktaft. 
yet. I'll consider it next turn, though. Actually, we can mark theft on the street rate. That's better than on the Minotaur. Yeah, so in that case, I'm thinking of spending a pedal to mark theft next turn. In that case, it's possible we should have done that already. Yeah, always need to count your mana with this deck. Potentially do that twice. I could potentially do that twice, right? Because, yeah, let's see, let's see. So if they hold up mana, it means either prohibit or condescend, in which case uh, we're dead anyway, or it means that they are holding uh, teachings. Yeah, I feel like that could be the case. So let's attack. And I think this is realistically our last turn to pull something off. How do we want to spend the mana here? It's actually tricky. We want to keep the forest in case we draw astrolabes. So we can play that. So I think let's actually dark ritual for the start. Looks like they have no interaction, so let's just mark theft off of that. Okay, I think I'm cracking the tinder wall here, psycho. Oh, come on. Uh, can we mark theft once more? Oh, yes. Okay, so can we still do this? <laughs> is the question. Uh, think we should, right? We did two damage, so I think... I think we should be able to do this. Might as well play the pedal. Right, there we go. Yeah, because note our... I kind of switched it up. I used to play Curvex Torch as my main win con, but now I'm playing with Haunting Misery. So there is a limited amount of damage we can deal and we are stuck with like a few creatures in our hand. So uh, I still think we should be able to deal 20 and 18 for sure. So songs. Mork theft on Anarchist. Anarchist brings back Haunting Misery. Let's see how many creatures do we have. Get a, if you're playing this deck on Modo, I gotta take it slow with clicking the creatures in the graveyard to make sure Magic Online registers all of them. But yeah, looks like we should be more than fine here. Unless they have the life gain spell. I guess we're about to find out. There we go. All right, all right. Hmm. So, Tron lists. Let me actually look up some Tron lists. I haven't played in a while, so... They may be playing like Pulse, Weather the Storm... 
Yeah, so I'm thinking whether it is worth it to side for the second win con. But to be fair, it might be not. Like, it might be better to... Hmm. This is really tricky, actually. Because uh, their answers are like the life gain for which we would like to switch for torch but also like uh, hydroblasts for the anarchist so i think i'm actually gonna go with this and uh, i'm not gonna side against relics i am gonna side against a bit of counter magic against like uh, Hydroblast, I guess. Maybe let's bring just like two Power Blast. I'm cutting the Guardian, that's kind of the most underwhelming card. And uh, probably an Astrolabe. Could cut Commune. I definitely don't want to cut more creatures. Let's just try this. See a little bit more of the opponent's deck, what their approach is. Uh, no forest in this hand and a couple dead cards. I'm gonna have to ship this one. They chose to play first though, which we like to see that. I mean, if they have like turn one land into hold up dispel or whatever, it's gonna be tough. But uh, overall, we wanna be on the draw just to maximize the chances of. Uh, drawing into our combo ASAP. It's Mulligan. Also the Mulligan rule kind of helped in this deck. So we have two dead cards here. We have the Spy, but we don't have Forest, we don't have Songs. I believe that's worth another Mulligan. Uh, this one I'm afraid we'll have to keep and just uh, cross our fingers that we draw into the forest because if we do then uh, we're kind of set uh, so what do we buy them I think the astrolabe and probably the bauble right or do we get the canter out I think it's these two So it's not quite turn one win if we drew the forest. Of course, we're not gonna draw it and gonna die in a terrible death. That's what's gonna happen. I wonder whether I should be just running out the canter. Doesn't seem like the play. Okay, so they're most likely holding some car magic, so we're probably dead anyway. I'm gonna play the canter now so I don't have to discard, even though I could have played the pedal for that reason. It's kind of whatever. I don't have. Okay, they're Maldriftering, so they may have been just, uh, you know, trying to scare us with their open mana. Or they still do have to dispel or hydro, who knows. There's the forest. I mean, I'm not gonna wait, right? So, how much mana do we have? One, two, three for five mana exactly. So if they have this spell actually... Again, one, two, three, four, five mana. If they have this spell, uh, for the songs we lose. Whereas if we waited one turn and played the bauble, uh, we would be safe against that. 
but I think it's overall higher upside to just go for it now. I mean, maybe they dispel the ritual. But if not, I guess we'll have to take our chances. So, Mork Teft, Anarchist. Another Mork Teft for Spirit Guide. Please, no Hydroblast. No Hydroblast. What would stop us at this point even? I guess Envelope is the only card that comes in mind. Nobody plays that. And that's it, that's all. All right, see you in the next round. Round two of One Land Spy in the Pauper MCQ. Again, chose to be on the draw. Hand is, let's evaluate. We have the Spy, we don't have Songs, we don't have Forest. We don't really have much mana either. We have some redraws, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ship this hand. Hmm, that didn't really help. I mean, we could bin the Anarchist and then we have okay hand, but we still need Spy and Forest. We have two redraws though. So it does, doesn't seem terrible. Like as long as we hit the forest, then we will probably be able to commune into what we need. So this hand is really close. I think it's probably better than going to five. But it's definitely on the edge. Will depend a lot on what our first draw and these two street rays deliver. We seem to be up against elves. Oh wow, and we got the best draw. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Cycle Dark Ritual, we did not really need that. Now we uh, need the spy and also to be noted we need a ini an initial black source. So uh Astrolabe, Pedal or Wild Counter. That's why the addition of Astrolabe into this deck was not bad at all, I think. Okay, we get the Canter though, that's fine. We will have to get lucky on hitting the Spy though. No real point in playing the canter out, I don't think. So basically the clock is... what's the clock? It's either them killing us with like the Swarm of Elvis or Timber Watches, or the clock is them hitting Wellwisher or Essence Warden. Because we can only deal like a maximum of 25 damage depending on how the creatures in our deck line up. Like at the moment, since we drew a spirit guide, we are already limited to 24 damage maximum. So that is something we need to stay aware of. Okay, let's cycle right away. Tinder wall did not help much. Again, no real point playing the creatures. It's actually detrimentary in case they play a Viridian Longbow. 
because then they could like shoot our canter next turn and that would be real bad. So we're kind of clocking ourselves with these three street raids we've cycled already, so don't have a ton of time here, but it's just one card missing, so All right, Vanguard is okay. Depends how much do they explode with uh, Priest of Titania now. Definitely not dying this turn, but theoretically I could die next turn, depending on what their hand is. May actually be a reason why I should have... Uh, hmm, I don't know why I did not consider it, but uh, uh, they there may be a thought for running out the Tinder wall and cycling off of a Simiran Spirit Guide instead. And the Tinder Wall obviously blocks the small creatures, so it's like saving one or two points of life, which may or may not end up mattering. Like usually when the elves go off, there's no stopping for them. They might end up tapping their 1-1s for mana anyway. We'll see, I guess. There's Leader Stampede. Only hitting Wellwisher, but that's good enough for them. Them untapping with the Wellwisher is game. So we have one turn. And we're dead. Yeah, no spy, no more way of drawing cards. Might as well concede. And I think we were dying next turn anyway, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. Actually, maybe if we jumped the Vanguard, we could have survived a turn. But uh, whatever, we won't win through the Wellwisher. Here it's actually really handy to have our sideboard because we get to side into the alternate wing con like the how I compose the sideboard for this deck we have one win condition in the main which is the uh, haunting misery and instead of that we are gonna bring in Carvex mm -hmm. Torch because that one the downside is it requires more cards in our deck that are just for the combo and it's vulnerable to instant speed removal but that should not matter against elves that much and uh, the upside is that it can deal a lot more damage than 20. it's not infinite but it can deal a lot more so it's definitely what i'm bringing in and uh this is typically what I'd, what I would side out. I'm thinking whether it is worth bringing any ingot chewers, just to speculate against a relic. But I'm thinking rather not. We rather go for like maximum speed. This matchup is kind of a race. We still want to be on the draw. There's a forest. So usually, like having the forest is the most important part. So we're gonna keep the hand. We also effectively have songs because Bobo substitutes a song in the combo. So we are only searching for Spy and we do have Commune. And also I guess we need a bit more mana. We need at least one more black mana to be specific. Let's just start by commune here. And there's the spy. All right. I mean, we could have alternatively transmuted the house guard. That's what he's for, but uh, it requires a lot more mana. So I like this wincon a lot more. 
how's our mana situation then? Next turn we play Tinder Wall. Provided we don't draw anything relevant. And the turn after we have one, two, three, four mana. So we still need one more black and we need one more mana to play bauble. So uh we're unlikely to win next turn unless we like dark ritual would uh, allow us to go off next turn barring that i think we'll have to ship the turn once more okay so they're just developing mana for the time being and that is fine like we basically just didn't want to see Timberwatch. Like Timberwatch would be the worst. But yeah, this seems okay. And uh all right, Wild Canter is another black. So that's good for sure. We still have to pass though. Obviously can't win now. And next turn we will have one, two, three, four. So we still need one more mana in total and we need to get the bobble in play, so technically missing two mana. And there's a stampede. That is scary. And there's a timber watch. And they do have Korean. So um I think we'll have to draw something good. Actually, do we just need Dark Ritual for the win? Oh, there's another Ranger. All right, this is tough. Yeah, Timberwatch is good beats. The thing is, like, I think we could have beaten Wellwisher, potentially. I'm not sure about it, but I think we could have beaten Wellwisher here if we win, like, in two turns. But uh, we cannot beat Timberwatch. That's for sure. Don't see any downside to blocking though. Oh wow, so we have one, two, three, four, five mana. We are one mana short. Wow, oh, this is brutal. Uh, is there anything we could potentially hit? I guess I'm gonna. Try to Minotaur. Like maybe we could make it work with Cable Ritual. Let's see. There's a Dark Ritual, but uh, no, I'm afraid we're just dead, right? Yeah, because we are still at 5 mana, so uh, yeah, anything we could like potentially with off of the commune, I don't think so. I mean, maybe our opponent concedes. <laughs> Probably not. They are thinking about it. <laughs> well, all right, good games. See you in the next round. Here we are for round three. We keep winning the die roll, but we don't care about that one. Last round against us was pretty close, if I dare say so. So let's hope 
luck is on our side this time. Keeping the hand, we got forest, even one redundant, but that's okay. Okay, we're against some astronaut hands, pretty seeming the just sky, even though it could be anything, obviously. So we just need songs or bobble. And other than that, we're kind of set, right? Yeah, so we don't really have anything to do. We can still commune because why not? Wow, that's two songs to the bottom. That's pretty brutal though. I was hoping to like hit another cycler off of this. But yeah, bottoming the songs. Uh, I guess we can... I mean, this is fine. I guess we can just uh, land grant in this shuffles and put those songs back into the mix. So it's not even that bad, yeah. Now what would be bad if they have a counter spell in hand? Because our deck, at least in the main deck, we cannot win against a well-placed counter spell. I guess technically, since we have the Anarchist, if we have a lot of other ritual effects, we could technically win without songs. But that would mean we'd need to have 4 for the Spy, 5 for Anarchist, 3 for Haunting Misery. So there's a total of 12 mana. That's a lot to ask for. Uh, and I mean, this is it. Uh, so, do we, how do we play this? I feel like we have to go for it. Like, if they have counter spell, they have counter spell. That's, uh, there's nothing we can do, really. Oh, they have sprite. Of course. Okay then, I guess that means, Sprite means that we cannot win this turn, we kind of wasted two cards, but uh, that's okay, we can still win next turn if they don't have anything. Uh, or actually, can we? No, we, we'd have to hit one more mana source, because like normally you need five mana out of which two are black. To be able to spy plus songs, but since we have bobble instead of songs, we have to account one extra colorless. So this is five mana we along with the forest, this is five mana we need a sixth one to be able to pull this off. And they return the sprite, I guess. Well, if so they should have attacked. Hmm, interesting. So them returning the astrolabe means they probably have a car spell or they just playing it lousy. Either way I think I'm playing the bauble and uh, yeah that's all we can do I guess. Because again we're mana, one mana short. Yeah, so I assume they're just holding car magic, which uh, is unfortunate, but again, I feel like uh, I just have to go for it. It could be even another sprite, but we cannot beat another sprite. Or 
we're showing them our deck, but that's okay. We buy the songs, make sure to not misclick. Moment of truth. Do you have the sprite or Connor? I guess they can wait and uh, Connor the haunting misery if they if they wish. Like if they countered the anarchists, I would actually win. Like this is one of the showcases of be because we didn't spend neither Morg effect yet. Might as well transmute this for one more damage. Haunting Misery 423. There we go. All right. All right. So, uh, let's see. Uh, do the Jeskai decks usually play relics? I mean, it depends, right? Because if they are on the Trinket Mage version, then it's like really free to splash for some relics, or at least one. If not, though, the card doesn't work with their deck that well because they are hurting themselves due to making Ephemerate on uh, Archeomancer Bores. Also, they have some car magic though, so this will be tough. I mean, uh, I'll probably just side some Pyroblast and uh, try, to, try to go for like max speed kill. And if that doesn't work, then doesn't work. I'm thinking of cutting two creatures that might be greedy because now we can deal a maximum of 23 damage and every spirit guide we have to exile or every creature that gets stuck in our hand is one less damage. But this is like again optimizing for maximum speed so maybe it's fine maybe it's fine going like this I'm gonna Cut one astrolabe. I think that's fine. Could also cut on the communes. That's another card that you can cut kind of easily. But yeah, let's try this. See how that works. Okay. Don't mind if I do. So this is... It's a turn 2 kill. Or actually is it? No. We... We don't have the second black mana. That's sad. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so... Might as well go full, full in, right? Goes our library. So I guess we do lose to dispel. Haunting misery right away. Whew. 
<laughs> okay, sure. You can have your brainstorm. And there we go. Here we are for round 5. I actually forgot to record round 4 accidentally, but we lost to a burn deck who went off turn 4 both times. Happens, I guess they are more consistent deck than we are. But anyway, what about this hand? I don't think this is good enough. Pobble is just replacement songs, but we don't have Spy, we don't have the Forest, more importantly. I think we can do better. And yeah, this is better. Uh, what do we ship? Let's see. So we are looking for the Spy still. And all these cards are kind of good. I think I can get rid of the ritual. Like, that's the... Yeah, because we have... 3 mana, 4 mana. We would like to keep it, but I think it's the least important from what we have in our hand. Alright, let's work with this. What's this? Cool, I guess. So, some sick goblin brew, I guess. They could be on you know, like goblins with goblin grenade, etc. Or it could be just another copy of uh, like Thermo Alchemist in a burn deck. Even though I would personally play the Lava Runner over this thing. But might as well get some variants in Pauper. After all, who am I to judge people for wrong card choices? See another Rachel, so we won't need. We would not need that Cable Rachel anyway, most likely. Uh, that songs that means that we can eventually like cycle the bauble if we like. We are still on the lookout for Bowstred Spy though. And I would prefer to not play the Wild Counter until the combo turn, because it's my only source of black. And I do actually have the 5 mana with the rituals, so I don't need to be playing that one out. Okay, looks like just another burn deck. Hopefully we'll get our revenge. I am gonna go ahead and use the bobble right away, even though it doesn't really... Well, technically we could win this turn, right? Because we drew the Simeon Spirit Guide, but... Uh, nope, no luck. We're just drawing mana. That is unfortunate, because now we are out of cyclers or ways to search for the spy, so we're at the mercy of the top of our deck. And I don't think we are dying this turn, but uh, we could definitely be dying the next one. We actually probably are that on the next turn. Because we're at effective 13, next turn we're at effective 10, and every spell is 5 damage. So, mm, I'm afraid this is not happening. I mean, might as well pass the turn. We're not giving out any additional information or anything, but uh, I don't have high hopes for this. We just needed to draw our last, last combo card earlier. Okay, they do have it. Let's go to sideboarding. 
And by sideboarding, I mean submit. Because really there's nothing to change. Like we're happy with this win con here because they don't have ways to gain life. So Hoting Mazuri is uh, actually a little bit more consistent than the other win con. And the other win con also requires us to pay a bunch of life. So uh, it's definitely better to stick with the misery. And yeah, hand qualifies. Again, we just need uh, we need a little bit of mana and uh, the spy. But we have a lot of cyclers. Not sure if we'll have the time to go through all of them, but uh, hey, we'll see. That's a really good one. That's really good because hopefully, I mean, hopefully we'll find the spy off of that. There we go. Okay, so now it's just a matter of mana. We do have the astrolabe to make us black, but, but uh, we're still one mana short. That is, if we have the forest untapped, we need to tap it for the astrolabe, so that's two mana short. So, and we cannot, uh, I guess, tap it right away. Yeah, so I'm afraid... I don't think there's anything we can draw to win right away. I... Yeah, so let's see. This is actually relevant now, because... Is there any card that uh, lets us win on the spot this turn? I guess Lotus Spell does. Lotus Spell means we just win, because that's... Spell to... Actually, no, we don't win off of Lotus Petal, never mind. So, I think what we do here is uh, just Astrolabe. Yep, we're just gonna Astrolabe. We're gonna... Go to our discard step, get rid of one Minotaur. And ship the turn. So I don't think we should be dead now, right? We're down to 12. Two burn spells plus uh, fire blast would be... I guess fire blast, bolt, nope. We're not dead this turn. We still lack two mana though. Oh, this is tough. So, uh, if I cycle Street Raid, there's a chance that uh, they have Fire Blast in hand and we're dead. But uh, if we pass the turn, the chance of us dying is just higher, I'd say. So, I think let's Street Raid. We have a good amount of hits. Let's cycle. Again, dead to Fire Blast here, but we would be dead to Fire Blast if we shipped the turn as well. So that doesn't really change anything decision-wise. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm afraid there's nothing we could have done, though. Let's see what we'd be draw. Yeah, we would be able to go off. Or no, I guess not, because we need one extra mana. Songs only nets one mana, so... Yeah, either way, tough beats. I'm gonna give it one more round, see where can we get with this deck. Welcome to round 6 of the MCQ. 
this hand isn't very good. This one is though. Alright, um, more theft on the bottom. Done. Let's roll with this. Oh, another Astro, probably just Sky nonsense. So, uh, we do have Forest, we do have Spy, we still need Songs or Bobble, and we need a Black Mana Converter. So, we're gonna fire off a Commune and, uh, can I grab a street rate? Might as well cycle it right away. Uh, Dark Ritual did not help that much. So, the thing is, we're still missing two cards. We need Black Mana Converter and we need. Oh, yeah, there's the Bobo. Okay. Uh, I mean, if they have Sprite, we've seen people run that before. They have Sprite, they have Sprite. Oh, of course they do have it. Okay. Well then. And if they have counter spell as well, it's gonna be brutal. But yeah, that's basically what we signed up for with this deck. Cycle, see what we get. Spirit Guide, not too exciting. Another Sprite, interesting. Yeah, I don't think this game is happening. Like, if they are spending a sprite for this, it means that they probably do have like another sprite or a hard car. I would assume. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. It's possible that they are not playing optimally, but uh, yeah, I don't have, I don't have high hopes for this one. Okay, that's a wild canter. We there's no reason in playing it right now though. I'm gonna discard and uh Yeah, I don't foresee the opponent tapping out ever. They're just gonna beat us down to damage a turn. Even four, actually. Now with when they are returning the sprite, I think I'm. It's fair to concede here. All right. So to sideboard against this Astro Jeskai looks like again we are. We are gonna pretend that they are not running any relics because if they are, that stuff that stuff beats, but. Uh, we cannot, we cannot fight against everything, right? We have to kind of pick what we want to be prepared for, but we don't want to compromise the integrity of our deck. So I find like three Pyroblast being the right number. I don't want the fourth one necessarily. And uh, what's the last cut? Last time I cut the Guardian as well, but uh, it's a little bit safer to not cut that many creatures. So let's try this. Going down to 25 creatures means we can deal a maximum of 24 damage, but probably less. So I think that should be fine though. Yeah, we do have the Gland Grants, so uh, 
That's what we care for the most. Okay, grabbing the forest, so cycling some street raids, might as well. And uh, we are only lacking a spy. Okay, so opponent does know of these four cards. It's a haunting misery, that's like nice, but uh, not too exciting. Do I wanna... Wow, they, they bricked on land drops, so that's pretty big. Do I wanna play the canter and risk it being killed though? I don't think so. I think I'd rather put in the wall. There's a relic. Okay. That's a problem. Can we please draw Bellstrad Spy? Just once. No spy. Uh, Alright, I mean... We're realistically not gonna deal 20 damage by wild counter attacks. So as long as they hold one mana up, we cannot combo off. We could theoretically, if we draw the Forest Cycler, the... What's he called? I think he's a 6-6 six, six or something like that. Uh, we could technically win with beats. Or if they ever not hold a land for the relic. This is an opening. Ah, man. Okay, we had our chance. Also, we have to note how many creatures have we exiled. But as long as we keep beating one damage a turn, we should be fine in terms of having enough creatures to exile to kill them with haunting misery. Thing is, uh, we're probably not killing them with haunting misery, as now I can't see them tapping out and not leaving the one mana for the relic. But I mean, it's worth playing it out because sometimes people mis misplay it, like I've won games before against people holding up relic and missequencing it. So uh and that's not means of disrespect towards our opponent or anything, but honestly on Magic Online you never know who you're playing against and what's the skill level of your opponent, so might as well play for your outs. Like sometimes the opponent might might do a mistake, so uh might as well play around that. Mm -hmm. Technically we should we could have played the <laughs> Minotaur. Funny I guess. Mm -hmm. So how do we do this? Do we wanna go for it or what's the case? I think we wanna go for it and see if the opponent knows how to play with Relic of Progenitus.
Ephemerate on Sprite. Okay. I mean, that's fine. We don't care. They still do have the mana to correct the relic. So, uh, uh, let's count the creatures again. So, we have 25 creatures in the deck. Mm -hmm. We have two of them exiled mm -hmm. and one, two, three, mm -hmm. four in the yard and one in hand. So we can deal a maximum of 22 damage if they exile our yard. We can deal 20 damage. So we don't need this tinder wall, right? So even if we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that means we can still deal... We can still deal 17 exactly. I mean, if you can win, might as well win, right? Bam! I don't need my graveyard anymore. Enjoy your relic. <laughs> Very useful card. Very useful, yes. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. Like, relic against this deck. Yes, it's powerful, but you need to know when to pop it. Even though for the defense of our opponent, I'm actually not sure whether he had like a good spot there like drawing the haunting misery there was what made the difference really but anyway i think i'm just gonna run it back like yes we saw the relic but i'm not gonna side against it i just want to win as fast as possible i'm only keeping the power blast and that's it this hand is very good Actually, is it turn one? No, we don't have the... we don't have songs. But do we have... To, we do have forest, we do have spy, and uh, we do have the mana to win in case we draw a songs. No songs, sadly. Also, if we drew the Haunting Misery, we would be able to win as well. There's the Relic, though. Yeah, so I guess maybe we should have... Maybe we should have sighted some Ingot Chewers. Do they have the land, though? They have Chance Race, so we definitely have at least a turn. Oh man, this is difficult. Yeah, this is like so close yet so far. And I don't think I'm 
they are gonna make the same mistakes and tap out of relic ever again. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's this kind of match. All right. We do have to. We need the pedal though for the guardian. Okay, it's resolved. Excellent. So. Four, five, six, seven. Cast. <laughs> yes. I couldn't imagine a better ending for this nonsense of an MCQ for me. You're on a four turn clock, opponent. Do what you will. I hope you can get enough bolts and scraps to deal with this guardian. Eventually we could even like cast spirit guides or bowstrit spy targeting them to get a little bit more damage to shorten it to three turn clock. Again, I don't have high hopes this will actually work. <laughs> the weather the storm. Alright. I did not sight against that uh, at all as well. Like actually that would that would have wrecked me if I went for the misery plan. Note though that uh, the spy plan is not off the table quite yet. Like, uh, yes, we still need the songs and we now do also need a black mana converter. But uh, that's not that much to ask for. Like, uh, if they are really busy dealing with this guardian then maybe we can sneak the combo through still. Why now? They did not block. They could have blocked and ephemerated after. Yeah, that seems like a misplay. Now they are throwing the sprite out for no reason. But yeah. I mean, so long as they are able to provide one blocker per turn, they are safe. So, yes, this is this is all sketchy, but it's not gonna stop me. Like, there's nothing more glorious than beating your opponent down with a vibrant guardian cast on turn two or what was it, turn three maybe. Not gonna bobble quite yet. I don't see any reason really. They might be holding a sprite, so I don't wanna cast it into that. <laughs> they popped the relic. Interesting. Means they either have a replacement one or they really think that two event like full on the guardian plan but they are mistaking themselves we are still very capable of going off in fact we only need a black mana converter yeah that's kind of a shame that we don't have that one but Yeah, if we had a pedal or 
anything to fix for black mana that turn we would have won i think still we have let's see we have exiled one two three four creatures this is five six seven eight 25 minus eight yeah so we can still well especially now when they got hit for six by the guardian uh we are definitely killing them with haunting misery now they can block though <laughs> that's kind of rude oh no come on where's the black oh. Oh, this is tough man this is really tough let's see could we Theoretically, make enough mana with cable rituals to rebuy an archist. Because, like, say, we crack the bubble now, and say we hit a black mana converter. Let's say it's the wild canter, so that's a mana neutral one. So we have one, two, three, four mana, five, six mana then spy uh, into cable ritual cable ritual so that's uh now we have after spy we have 10 11 12 mana we need five for spy five for anarchist three for misery so we we're one mana short to do that Okay, we're gonna hold the Guardian back for a turn. And we're just gonna discard Land Grant here. But yeah, if we draw one more mana source, I feel fine cracking the bubble. There's the relic now though. as well you can sprite it yeah sure so now in order to go around the relic we would need to draw we would need to draw haunting misery naturally And we'd have to hope that they don't have a counter spell, which at this point is quite unrealistic. the holding blockers to keep our guardian at bay so it's no longer at an option now mm. rebuying maldrifter yeah Whatever, I think I'm off it now. <laughs> that was enough fun for one MCQ. Thank you guys for watching. In the end, we went 2 and 4, so uh, we are safely out of the prizes range by now. There's gonna be two more rounds, but I'm not gonna force it through that. I think we've had enough, but uh, it was a hell of a run. Shout out to my friend Kali Case, who persuaded me to play this deck tonight i've had a lot of fun i hope you had too again thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one